Well, that's in the hands of the gods, really, not mine. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to try and remember to uh, use quick save fairly frequently, but uh, it's always a little bit hard to remember that one. Now, we have done the trading, so all we need to do is recover a little bit of lost ground. We are, we're actually not that far far back, thankfully. It could have been much, much worse, I fancy. So we're going to go ahead and go to the manager, check out what's there. Yeah, we've already set up the wooden bins. So all we need to do now is set up cloth. And we were going to make cloth socks. 30. Is there a way to copy these? No. Clock socks? Whilst awesome, not quite what I want. Then we want leather high boot. There we go. Uh, trousers. Trousers. No, no, no. There we are. And finally, what was the next one? I think it was cloth shirts. But we're going to make... Um... We're going to make some leather vests as well. Leather best? The very best leathers. Oops. I'm just waiting for that typo to happen. It's going to. Fairly certain it will. Oh no, we made it to the end without that typo showing up. Well done us. I think we all deserve a clap on the back. There we go. And we'll just reorder all of these so that uh, they don't spend all their time making one type of thing. There we go. So uh, that should keep Metasabi and pretty much everyone else in the fort busy for a bloody long time. I do have a load of wool to use. You're quite correct. But after setting all of that up, I'm going to quickly quick save it. So I do apologize for the uh, spamming of the saving that I'm going to be doing during this. But uh, given the Dwarf Fortress has shown itself to be more than happy to crash on a moment's notice, I think it probably is the wise thing to do. Uh, what are you building in there? You're building bins, are you not? Yes, you are. In that case... Oh, wow, I can make wheelbarrows out of all sorts of stuff. Uh, okay. Do I really want... No, I don't really want to. Uh, let's make wheelbarrows out of wood, because I feel that otherwise we're just going to be making it harder for everyone. <laughs> you make a, a lead wheelbarrow. Oh yeah, this is going to make it so much easier to move things around. Only it's not because it's made of lead. You fool. There we go. That's a little bit better. And all of the food is being moved. Ah, oh, glory be. Happy times are here at last. Geowolf is the lag uh, the legacy. Well, that might actually be true. The legacy of Cattenvir is still strong in your dwarves, Avak. Even if it's just a spiritual legacy, yes, it is, it is fairly strong. Um, but manageable at the moment. Should it get even half as bad as Canvir was, though, I will probably just flat up stop playing Dwarf Fortress for a little while. There, there are certain things, certain, certain trials that I'm just not, not ready to, to go through. No one, no one should be forced to endure that kind of, those kind of shenanigans. No, 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 no. Right, how are the mechanic the mechanism going? Uh, you know, not too bad. Right, well, let's go ahead and start digging that out there. Uh, 
And furthermore, so, oh, wait, did I just tell them to dig that out? Or did I tell them to smooth it? No, I told them to smooth it. Phew. I said dig it out, and in my head was like, oh, no, what have you done? <laughs> you crazy fool. Right, I believe that this is where the drop is, uh, more or less. There. Okay, I just want to mark these areas out for myself, so that's priority one. Then we'll dig out the enormous stone stockpile room again. Because it just makes sense to try and get all of that stone funneled down there and cleaned up. Right, so we want this to be priority three. About yay big. And about there, I would say. There we go. That'll do. And up again. There we are. That should be plenty for us. Okay, so that'll allow us to get some fairly hefty stone stockpiles going. And then over on this far side will be the way out, I would say, to the uh, area where we're going to continue the stairs down to look for the caverns. So I'll just allow my uh, workers to get to work on all of that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have still got them set to mine out those particular areas, so let's uh, cancel that while I remember. There we go. Fantastic. All right, then. Let's get back up to the top. It is currently raining. Our wrestlers are out there wrestling in the rain. Their bodies glistening with moisture and mud because they're standing on soil. Soon they will be like chiseled Greek heroes. Legendary dwarves. Their bodies a monument to masculinity. And then they'll die. Because of some stupid reason, probably. They decided to help with the mining and then just fell down three flights of stairs and snapped both of their legs. And I will weep. Because I'll have spent so long training up a military that can actually do anything. And then they'll die to something stupid. Or they'll go out in some heroic but rather one-sided battle against some sort of forgotten beast that breathes a dust that melts your flesh off. This is the way the Dwarf Fortress teaches you to accept losing. This is why I am not particularly raging about the fact that it keeps crashing. It's like, well, losing is fun. Even if it's meta loss. Well, kind of, maybe, sometimes. It's not always fun. Uh, right, we want plenty of... I think it was... Uh, nice. And over here. <laughs> I thought that would get chat going. Erinir! Oh god, 50 sh shades of dark Avak! Why is, why is talking about the chiseled male form, dark Avak? That seems a little bit unfair to all, all the people who uh, treat their bodies like temples. Even after that, that is kind of silly. Your body's in a temple. It's a meat sack. Quite a capable meat sack, though it may be. Still a meat sack, though. There we are, and down here as well. Fantastic. Darkfire Phoenix sits in the corner and has crafted a coffee bomb menacing with spikes of Gravelord Nico bones and rings of Avak. Uh, Darkfire Phoenix, you're going to a dark place. You should probably leave whilst you still have the chance. Oh. <laughs> That's what, Mr. Ben, the murdersmith has been possessed. I swear for the first few seconds I read poisoned. I was like, what? Someone poisoned a murdersmith! Shenanigans! Oh well, our murdersmith is about to become a legendary something. Oh well, actually no, he's possessed. He's not going to gain any skill ups. He's just going to make something. Okay, that's not too bad. He's claimed a me He's cl claimed a metalsmith sport? Is he going to be... Oh no, wait, again, he's not going to have any uh, skill... He's taking a... What, what? I don't know what he's making. If he was about to become a legendary metalsmith, he would have been uh, 
undrafted from the murdersmith profession. We would not have been having a legendary metalsmith doing murdersmithery. And another quick save. St. Daisley, you can be as unfair as you like to us who treat our bodies as temples. We can just beat you to death if you get annoying. That is actually a fairly good point. But you shouldn't use your... You shouldn't bully people with your superior strength. That's the first lesson I'm going to teach any AI I make. Or at least if I give it a, you know, a robotic body. It's like, don't bully people. That's bad. It's undapper. You shouldn't make people do what you want them to because you can crush cars. Hopefully the lesson will get through. Well, hopefully they'll also, you know, have enough understanding of, 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 you know, clauses in such lessons to understand that when I want them to crush someone with their humongous ultimate Hulk might, that they will. It's just they won't do it when it's just for something they want. Hopefully. That actually sounds remarkably unfair. Doc Ava, get out of my head. I'm going to take a sip of tea. If, if a, an AI wants to crush someone with his own might, it, it, I will champion its right to do so. It is the dapper way. It might be a very short-lived dapper way, but it will be dapper. Okay, we've almost got that one bedroom made. We need a couple of doors. Make more doors, please. Is our mur oh, murder smith? Do you need something specific? Um, have you st have you started work on it? Uh, Ornellas keeps muttering Ornellas. What what do you want though? I I don't know what he what he needs. He's got silver bars, almond wood logs, birch wood logs. Hmm. I'm a little bit concerned about this. Let's let's kill some animals because maybe you need some bones. I'm really sorry about those animals, but it must be done. We've got a cow that's tame. Um, we've got yaks that can that can do all of that. Have we got a have we got a bull? Let's actually have a search. Bull. We've only got a yak, bull, cow. We've got an actual cow. Well, no, I'm afraid you're going to be slaughtered. To the slaughterhouse with you. We need your bones, and your horns, and your hooves, and some of your hair, and your leathers, and everything else. Oh, he's begun the construction. Oh, okay. <sighs> Phew. Okay. Enter the closed window. Quickly go to the animal screen. I don't want to kill you anymore! Stop being killed! Phew, okay. I was worried about that, because I, I know that they'll sometimes mutter the name of what they're making, but I hadn't seen a, a notification. Perhaps I just hadn't read back far enough. Uh, where was Mr. Ben? Did Mr. Ben say anything? Oh, there, there we are. Begun mysterious construction. Right, well, uh, let's check on this. A silver amulet with 26,400 dwarf bucks. Check on the description. This is a silver amulet. All craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is studded with silver. This object is adorned with hanging rings of birch. On the item is an image of a leaf in almond wood. Sounds elvish to me. Tim Blocks Rocks. Hi, Avak and the dapper people watching. Hello, Tim Blocks. Okay, we've got a room. Build door. No doors. How are our stonesmiths doing? They're digging. Uh, I require you to not be digging, but instead to be crafting. This is most important to us. Let's go and check out what you're digging. Got some more puppies, though. That's always good. Some masterpiece stuff has been made. You know what? I don't actually want this room to be that big on this side. I would rather it be about this big instead. 
and larger on this side instead. There we go. We'll set this one up as three as well. There we are. That's a little bit better. We'll just sit here and watch them for a while while I drink. And Larry, isn't it about two in the morning for you, Avac? No, it's uh, quarter past eleven. See, champ, I just had an amazing a mental image of Ken Ken, myself, Leon Whitestar, the dude, and everyone else Nico's eaten, leaping full grown from his cut stomach like Greek gods. But what on earth kind of craziness is going on in chat today? Apparently, Grave Lord Nico has been swallowing people whole. Uh, in which case, yes, I, I quite like the, uh, the the sort of imagery you've got going there, see, champ, of, of being cut from his stomach and emerging like gods. But uh, you know, are you going to take that the whole way? Because I mean, for it to really be like Greek gods, you're going to have to uh, emancipate. Gravelord, you're gonna have to geld Gravelord, basically. It, it's necessary. You've got to demand Gravelord to end his reign of terror. It's true, sad though it may be. Okay, well the bins are being moved around, which is really good. We've got plenty of cages going on as well. Most of the cage traps have been loaded now, which is great. And I believe an order was completed. Wooden bin 20 has been completed. Fantastic. Plenty of new socks and leather, high boots and things are being made. Let's check on the uh, on the stuff over here. Cloth socks. We're down to only six cloth socks remaining. Fantastic. Uh, we've already actually gone through the leather high boots there. Wow. Okay, that's actually pretty impressive. Very impressive, in fact. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Lex, Jackal, Avak, we are cannibals. Also, we don't have a bollock smith yet. <laughs> Fantastic. You did misspell bollocks, but uh, I got what you were trying to say. Don't worry. Okay, well, we've got plenty of masterwork clothing. As soon as they start wearing that, they're going to be very, very happy with it. Right, the rock blocks have been made. Now starting on the honey badger vests. The doors have been made. Like, make... Really? I thought I sent you to make a bunch of doors. Did I do that in a dream or something? Let's get those doors made, shall we? Uh, let's have a look down here as well. I'm thinking we probably need some more lead cages. Furniture. Where's the lead? Lead cage. Make another five of them. But the next stage is to begin construction of our bridge, I feel. If we've got enough blocks and mechanisms to do it, at the very least. Okay, we want... What have we got enough blocks of? The slate blocks this time. There we go. Hopefully, that is not the thing that's causing the crashing. We'll see now. Because if it is, <laughs> that's pretty sad. Because I've basically... Oh, pardon me. I uh, had a bit of a, a burp there. My lord. Um, basically, I've gone ahead and built our defenses around this idea of this, this bridge gauntlet that the enemies are going to have to move through. What just happened? Ah, migrants. Okay, that's fine. Come on in. We've got more migrants than we had last time, by the looks of it. Plenty of animals, too. Well, we'll wait for them all to arrive before we uh, start uh, ordering them around. Let them get used to the place. Our planters are currently trying to harvest... Is that what they're doing? Are they actually trying to harvest there? Gather plants? Well, what kind of plants are you gathering from that cactus? Because I see them there all the time. They're just always at the cactus. They don't ever seem to get anything done. You know what? I'm going to take that zone away. Perhaps that's causing the crash. I don't know. 
But I need you to stop doing it, whatever it is. Do you not have step ladders, perhaps? Is that maybe what it is? Because if that is the case, there's a fruit up there. Perhaps I could just simply make some step ladders. Uh, where are you? Uh, we'll just have two step ladders. See, champ, I've actually saved the game. Very good point. Chat is basically hashtagging save right now. Well done, chat. Uh, what else is going on right now? Hauling off the cages to lo uh, arm the traps. Very good, very good. Wooden wheelbarrows have been completed. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and build some more traps. Some more cage traps specifically. Want one here. One there. One here, one there as well, and one there. Okay, we've got a good uh, spread of traps around here now. I feel that we shouldn't have too much trouble dealing with any particular enemies. We do have... Perhaps I should make a small animal stockpile. Just for those things that we capture. So I know that we've got something there. Yeah. Let's set that up. That way any animals we do catch will get brought down here. Uh, what What is that you're hauling in? Did one of our animals run away? Perhaps I should check on the uh, pasture here. Make sure there aren't any other animals that need to be pastures in your grazers. Cat. A... Another cat. Another cat. Many poults. Kittens. A cow in a cage. The cow needs to be up here. The horse needs to be up here. The lamb. Okay. And down here we've got a chick to put into this area. I'm not sure what it's going to grow into, but uh, we'll find out. There we go. Fantastic. Honestly, I'm probably going to slaughter the horse. Unless there's a small chance that I might get another one from somewhere. 